Hey y'all, SEMA 2017 and my buddy Justin Nichols has got a, it's a crossover, it's a 60C10, but it's going to run Pikes Peak, it's uh, got some show car to it, it's just a really cool truck I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Justin, what a crazy thing, I don't even know what to say dude. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know where to start, you put it, like, everything, a show truck, a race truck, a, every kind of truck is what you attempted to do here. Yeah, I think so. We just tried to blend everything together. You know, we're, we usually do the high end, you know, try and mix a little bit of race inspired. Right. But this one is just is a show truck finish, uh, but it's a race truck. Right. You know, we've already beat on it a little bit, you know, over the last week. But uh, no, we just wanted to do something totally different with the C10. The, there's a few things that we've seen and we've modified from other vehicles that we've in, you know enjoyed looking at so right. we're like yeah it'll work on here um, but as far as the rest of the stuff it's totally different and well, we haven't seen nothing yeah. like it and we can't wait to see what people think about it I haven't either I'll be honest with you you know I see a lot of stuff too and I've not seen anything like it either sure but you're taking it to Pikes Peak yeah we're running Pikes Peak with it in June and okay. then uh, we got a little bit of test and tune to do between now and then um, so we got enough time to actually get after it and uh see what works dialed see what doesn't in, work yeah in, dialed in yeah. well tell me i mean there's got to be a ton of features to this thing tell me some of the stuff you did yeah as far, as far as the front end goes it's a 60 chevy grill uh we modified that we put the intake scoops in there we put an adjustable splitter on the front or a spoiler and then uh custom grill uh, all the stainless bolts all the copper washers we did the side vents on the hood to get the heat out and then we did the heat extractors on the roof and then uh we we made the whole front end tilt. Oh, okay. Um, it's not fiberglass. It's a, it's all metal. All metal. All metal. What year is it? It's a sixty. Okay. Yeah, it's titled as a sixty. So. Okay. And then uh, as far as the back goes, uh, we've got little fins we put on the back. Um, the bed cover has a heat extractor for the supercharger cooler and the oil cooler and all that other stuff. Is that where you run all that stuff at? Yeah. Is all the, the all the the cooling fans, all the coolant, oil. Uh, supercharger stuff is in the back. We still got the radiator in the front for the motor, right. uh, which is attached to the frame. So you would just tilt the whole front end and you can get to everything. Tell me uh, a little bit about the interior. Yeah, the interior is pretty basic. Uh, we went with a glide engineering seat frame and then our upholstery, uh, Boss upholstery, made us a bolstered bench seat, which, you know, it's kind of tough to do, but right. they did it and they matched the colors exactly like we wanted to. Um, it, there's just a roll cage stuffed everywhere in there. Um, he made little covers for it and everything, so it looks it looks pretty killer. Yeah, because I mean that was the real challenge. Is everything had to work. It had to be aesthetically cool, and then you had to take it to a level where you get the respect of the industry because of the fit and finish on it too. That's that was the toughest thing. You know, we only had four months to do this, but for me to say that's enough, you know, and right. not finish it all the way, right, right. keep in the back of my mind that it's a race truck. That was the toughest thing. At the end of the day, you know, we had to not only build this thing in four months, but we had to build it to the specifications of Pikes Peak. Right. So the roll cage, everything, all the gussets, everything had to be to their specs. So, so there's it's, rules to this build on top of that. Yes. Holy cow. Yes. Yeah. So we had to make everybody happy, right, you know, right, and right. keep me safe at the end. Pikes Peak's pretty insane. It so. is insane. Yeah, but it'd be fun to do. I think we've all dreamed about doing yeah, it. Yeah, it's been a dream for a long time. What about up underneath it? What have you done underneath there? Uh, we built the whole chassis. We basically back halved it. Um, it's got stock style trailing arms with uh, fully adjustable coilovers, uh, sway bars front and back from Curry. Um, independent front end. I mean, it just handles like it's on rails. Yeah, I yeah. Bet. It sits nice and low too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was so overwhelmed by this whole thing, I forgot to ask uh, Justin about what was up underneath the uh, hood, or should I say full metal tilt front end, how cool is that? The 2002 60 uh, LS Magnuson Supercharger, Nikki Performance built it, 854 is capable of 1500. It's got the uh, TK05 speed, 2A1 carbon fiber drive shaft, how cool is that? I'd like to have one of those and a Curry 9-inch 411 gear and some Flowmaster exhaust. But again, nicely done for a race truck. It's and what down. wheels are you running? Uh, Bill Specialty has actually made us a one-off set of wheels for it. Uh, we showed them the rendering and they're like, yeah, we could do that. And I was like, oh, that's, that's pretty cool. And you know, we only got like a month, right? Yeah. They're like, no worries. And they got them out to us and they got us the colors we wanted. And everything was spot on. What size are they? They're 18, 18 by 10, 18 by 12 in the back. Okay. 
And, and we got to give Valspar a shout out because this color has obviously got a lot of people's attention. What, what's it called? And tell me a little bit about it. Of course, it's uh, it's actually we started with Saban Green and then just added some yellows to it, some other colors just to get it as bright as possible. So it's a custom mix. It is, and we can sell it too. Okay, so they've <laughs> registered it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is there a code or something people's interested? Uh, not in? yet, but I oh. you contact me. I can give you the code. And tell me your social media. If people do want to contact you. Yeah, it's Nichols Paint and Fab. Uh, just find us on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, or you can come to my page and send me a friend request, and be I might friends. be your friend. That's right. I might be your friend. I'm glad you're my friend, brother. <laughs> yeah, same here, man. Y'all rocked it, and uh, I know that you have an unveil coming up here at 2 o'clock, and I bet uh, you'll have the show talking on shortly after that. I so. hope so. Brother, thanks so much for giving me some time. Yeah, man, thank you. So there you go from the SEMA Show 2017, a 1960 Chevy C10 from Nichols Paint and Fab. Kind of a race truck, show truck, very cool truck, that's for sure. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.